Where's the other guard? He's inside watching him, sir. Hell of a night out there, Doc. Hell's in here. Mr. Dent? Counselor? Harvey? Two-Face? the mirror lately. <laughs> doesn't kill. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> it's too good to be true. What's that lethal curl of the lip? What's that homicidal gleam in the eye? <laughs> You're a killer, too, and you know it! <laughs> A little off the ears, Batman. <laughs> hey, not the Black Knight started. Sounds great, thanks. You wanna grab a Harley and we'll go for a ride? Look, I appreciate the gig, all right, but uh, we're not going to be buddies. You don't even know me. I know you're in a lot of pain because of your family. I know you feel responsible. I don't know you, but I'm like you. I don't think so. Have you given much thought to your future? The Wayne Foundation has an excellent scholarship Look, fund. Look, he is my future, all right? Dick, don't let the love of your family twist into hatred of Two-Face. That's too easy. Look, no offense, but uh, I don't think you got a lot to teach me. <sighs> don't be too sure.
Kenneth Frequency, GNN News. Gotham City's answer to the Wild West gunfight at the OK Corral was played out tonight as gunfight at the dysfunctional subway system. Every demented outlaw from Toledo to Timbuktu has come to town to do battle with Batman. Result? Joe and Jane Q, normal citizen, are left holding the tax bag for a trashed mass transit system with nothing to show for their failed dreams but a question on their lips. Why? In the Wild West, bad men rode into town to see who was the fastest gun alive. Them or the sheriff. At least the sheriff wore a badge. All Batman wears is a mask. No one asked him to fight crime, and until he stops, every nutcase with a grudge will be invading our border to see who's faster. What will these weirdos destroy next? A library? A museum? City Hall? Our lives and property are in danger from this menagerie of costumed freaks. Batman, if you really want to help Gotham City, turn in your cape, hang up your mask, put the Batmobile on the blocks. In a word, retire. I'm Kenneth Frequency. You want me to retire, Alfred? Your parents are avenged. The Wayne Foundation contributes a fortune to anti-crime programs, and the police handle much of the villainy. Why not retire, sir? Even Chase called being Batman a curse. The night of my parents' wake, Alfred, I remember running, falling with the bat. There was something else. Was it just the bat? What was I running from? Is that what all this is? A little boy being afraid of a monster in the dark? What else was it? Maybe I didn't become Batman to fight crime. Maybe it was to fight that fear. And instead, you became the fear. If that's true, then Batman is my enemy. Can I give up? Can I leave the shadows? You'll never know until you try. Dr. Meridian seems a good place to start. I've never been in love before, Alfred. Go to her. Tell her how you feel. She wants Batman, not Bruce Wayne. Let the lady decide for herself. Dr. Meridian speaking. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Who is this? Who am I, Alfred? I don't know anymore. I remember my life as Bruce Wayne, but all this... This is the life of a stranger. You were shot in the head, sir. There's something else. Alfred, I feel afraid. Master Bruce, son, you gave up being Batman to save Dick Grayson. But perhaps you also gave him up because you never faced why you became him in the first place. What's in there? I remember something chasing me. My nightmare. Your nightmares are there. And until you face them, I fear you will spend your life fleeing them.
Not my fault. Master Bruce. I'm Batman, Alfred. I'm Batman. Does it ever end, Alfred? No, Dr. Meridian. Not in this lifetime.